Hey guys, welcome to my new low. <laughs> this is me filming on my phone because my computer is and I need to get a new one, but it's going to be a couple weeks just because of time and scheduling that I'm able to do this and, and set it up. So I have the Bronze Goddess collection here, a good portion of it, not the whole thing. And I figure if I don't do something with it now, it'll never happen. And then where will my Bronze Goddess collection video review be? Because I always do one every year. This one's going to be a little bit different besides the fact that I'm filming on my phone. I'm going to have to do this in one take because I can't edit. There's no intro. There's no outro. There's no fancy graphics. I've just got to do this and then I'm going to try and upload it. So wish me luck. I have the eyeshadow palette and the face palette. I also have the uh, little bronze goddess um, illuminating drop illuminator summer glow illuminator. That's apparently what it's called. There's also the body whipped body cream. Always get a backup of that. Um, and then the fragrance, but then there's a body oil that's out this year that is um, like rose gold glitter. It's kind of pink. It looks really pretty. It's the only reason I picked it up. I did not get any of the lip products yet. There are three lipstick slash lip glosses. They look sort of like the Pure Color Envy Shines, which I hate and I don't need any more lip glosses. And the only one that looked interesting was gold and eh. So I didn't bother. I decided to kind of pick and choose for the first time instead of buying everything because last year was a bit disappointing. The year before that wasn't super exciting. In fact, I pulled these out because the last time um, there was a Bronze Goddess collection I loved was the Soleil collection when they had this eyeshadow palette. Do you remember this? And this bronzing blush, which was so pretty. I love this. Love those. It's my favorite collection. Comes out every year. I love the fragrance, and I'm a little disappointed. So let's talk about let's talk about the eyeshadow palette, right? Okay, so this is the eyeshadow palette this year, which I was excited about because it kind of reminded me of the one from the that's the face palette from the Soleil collection. There's only one chance to do this. This is the eyeshadow palette this year, so you can see the kind of color similarities in a way, sort of ish. Or not at all. Um, eh, you know, I swatched these and the color payoff was just like not that good. And the textures were meh. The blue, the like pop of blue that's in there, it's sort of like, I guess you'd say like a little patchy. And um, there's some quick swatches. Quick swatches on my arm. You can see how sheer these are. I totally did that wrong. <laughs> you, can, you can see how sheer these are. And then, I mean, eh, I don't know. I just wasn't blown away by it. The blue, I was wanting something like a pop of like really cool blue. And that's not what it is at all. The face palette. This is the thing that everybody was excited about because this is really pretty looking and I was excited about it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're saying this is like a gelée like face palette, right? So you've got the highlighter and a blush and a bronzer. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. They're actually calling this a contour shade. It's super orange. This is just a regular pink blush. Now here's the problem. This is the only one that is actually the gelée Estee Lauder like tri blend formula, that gel powder liquid whatever hybrid that they do so well that they won't make one permanent and I don't know why that everybody else tries to copy. This is the only one that is that formula. It actually has it listed on the box. This is the only one that is that formula. The others have different ingredient lists and they are completely different products. Well, they list the ingredients for this one, but not for this and I don't know why. They're probably the same because they're very very similar. Now, in mine, this bronzer is really, really, really stiff. Um, it was hard to pick up any color, not this finger, this finger. Um, and I just didn't really like the way that it looked. I swatched it like right here. Can you even see that? But I've heard other people say that I trust, um, some that I don't, <laughs> no, and some that I do. It's, it's there somewhere. There's a little bit, looks like kind of a bruise, um, that their bronzer was fine. It wasn't really stiff. Mine is incredibly stiff and it doesn't pick up any color. So I don't really like it. And 
I was like, well, I should probably go and exchange this for a different one, right? Because I love the Bronze Goddess collection, and so I have to have it every year. Um, that's the blush, you can see. And then the illuminator. It's going to be probably hard to see. You're just going to see like some sheen on the back of my hand there, kind of. I'm on my phone. Anyway, but I'm going to tell you the truth. This is the first time I've really actually thought, you know what, I kind of just want to return this. Because I wasn't wowed by any of it. And I'm thinking, why do I have this? Why am I spending my money on something that I'm like not wowed by? Not even remotely. Not even something that I'm like, oh, that's kind of a cool collector piece, whatever. I don't know. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Funny side note, the packaging for these, the eyeshadow palette and the face palette, is identical to the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this, the bronze and glow film star thing. I mean, obviously it's not the same product and the pans aren't the same, but it is the exact same packaging in a different color with a different face, but all of the same little like dimples and things that you'd see from like a machine making the little compact, they're all there. Same exact compact. I just found that funny and I wanted to bring it up because it just shows you that there's really only a few companies that make the packaging for makeup. So it's kind of funny when you see stuff go across brands. This thing was actually really cool. I actually did like this. This is the like liquid illuminator. It comes in a little dropper. See this pushes in and it's actually a little dropper thing. Now this is actually basically a MAC luster drop thing almost identical. In fact, they have like a pink one that's out right now and it looks very similar. This is just a little more goldeny orange, a little warmer maybe than the one that, that Mac has on their site. I'm trying to kind of show you what that looks like. It just looks like sheen. It doesn't look like anything else. There's no real color here that you're going to get. It's just like glowy glow. And that's pretty much it. And that's, oh, that's pretty much it. I didn't get any of the lip products. There's no nail products at all. There's no nail lacquers. There's just the three lip things. There's also a body scrub that's in the Bronze Goddess fragrance that I would like to pick up, but I haven't seen yet. Um, and that's it. I was kind of meh. So there you go. That's my Bronze Goddess review. Woohoo! A lot of energy put into that one. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please leave them in the comment section. Do um, comment on the wonderful angle. I love to shoot up from my chin. Oh, that's like my most flattering angle, right? Um, Tom Ford's up there. Anyway, uh, Joan Collins is up there too, if you look. See? There she is. Hello! I love that. I got that. That was a surprise from from um, Alan that Joan had signed that and sent it to me. Alan Waterman is her makeup artist. And um, Joan um, signed that and sent it to me, which I thought was really cute because that's like my favorite Joan Collins movie ever. Right there. It's Rally Around the Flag Boys and it's super cute. I'm packing for a trip tonight and I actually watched it. That's what made me think of it because I like had the movie on while I was packing. I'm going to stop now. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Until I see you next time, which will be soon, please remember to take care. <laughs> and drive safe. Oh, how do I turn this off? <laughs>